Section 2, Performing Effective Network Scanning. Welcome to the video, Creating a System Inventory with Nmap. In this video, we will use a tool called Nmap to find all the live systems on our network, use the Nmap tool in combination with additional command flags to get more verbose output out of our scans, and we'll output the results of our scan into a text file which we will be using heavily in the next videos in this course. Nmap, which is short for Network Mapper, has been around for more than 20 years. It runs on all major computer operating systems and is well documented in countless books, blogs, and videos. You should definitely take time to get familiar with Nmap, but for the purpose of this course, we are just going to jump right in and start using it to learn more about what's running on our network. However, it's important to note that Nmap has a good basic help guide that you can access by simply typing Nmap and hitting enter. Notice that the screen went by too fast for us to catch everything, so we can simply scroll up to read what we missed, or issue the Nmap command again with the pipe symbol plus the word more and hit enter. That way we can see the Nmap help output one screen at a time. As you can see, there are all sorts of options for running and tuning and exporting our scans. Now, if this was a new network that we didn't know anything about, one of the first things we may want to do is figure out which hosts reply to a ping. This is often called a ping sweep or ping scan and can be done by using Nmap with the TAC SN flag. First, let's do a quick ifconfig command to see which network we're on. And as we can see, it looks like I'm on a 192.168.3.x network. So I'm going to run nmap space tac sn space 192.168.3.0 slash 24. As you can see, the scan finished pretty quickly and has given us a list of live hosts and their MAC addresses. But there's no mention here of hosts that didn't respond to a ping. Anytime we want more verbose output out of our Nmap scan, we can add the TAC V flag with the V standing for verbose. So let's run that same Nmap command again, this time with the TAC V added. And now we can see more information on all the hosts that did not reply to a ping, in addition to the ones that did. Now one of the things we will be doing later in the course is some deeper scanning on only the live hosts on our network. So it's going to be important for us to have a nice clean list of live IPs saved off to a text file with one host on each line. We could certainly copy and paste the IPs into a text file one by one, but I thought it would be fun to show you one of the more advanced commands that can create this text file for us in one swoop. First, let me type out the command and run it. We'll review the results, and then we'll talk through how they came to be. Again, don't worry if a lot of this looks new or weird. I'm skipping ahead simply to show you how powerful and flexible of a tool Nmap is, especially when combined with other built-in Linux tools. Here we have a nice, clean list of live network hosts, one on each line. This is exactly how Nmap wants our list of hosts to look like when we do deeper scans in our upcoming videos. But let's take a step back and break this down one chunk at a time. We started with our Nmap space TAC SN command, which again is going to find all the hosts on our network that respond to a ping. Then the TAC O capital G flag is going to export our scan results in a greppable format. Now if you've not played with grep, that's okay. Take some time to play around with it on your own, but for the purposes of this example, just think of grep as a way to search for words within a file. Before we do any grepping though, Let's just run the first chunk of our command to see what the results look like. This output looks pretty much the same as when we ran nmap space tac sn on its own. But let's run the command again, this time adding the pipe symbol 
and then the words grep space up. What this does is take the results of our Nmap scan and select, or grep, only the lines containing the word up. This gets us closer to a clean list of IPs, but we're not quite there yet. We still have a lot of extra words like host and status colon up to get rid of. This is where the awk or awk command comes in. If you haven't worked with awk, add that one to your self-study list too. But in this example, we're using it to essentially say, print me out only the second field of data in the output, which in this case is our list of IP addresses. Ah, the result is a nice, clean list of addresses, one address per line. So the last thing we need to do is save this to a text file for use in our upcoming videos. We could just copy and paste the list into a file, but since we're learning how to save time by chaining together commands in terminal, let's just add a greater than symbol followed by a file name. What this is going to do is write the output of our long nmap command to a text file for later use. So at this point, we know which hosts are responding to a ping on our network, and we have them captured to a simple text file called targets.txt.